Thanks for tuning in to Biohackly. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my longevity ozone generator to make ozonated water. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make ozonated water. I've got distilled water in this flask right here, and it's uh, very cold. You can see there's a bit of uh, condensation on the inside of the flask. And beside it, I've got a glass check valve. So this is one of the most important things when you're making uh, ozonated water or ozonated olive oil or some type, of, uh, some type of liquid you have in here. This check valve is going to prevent in any of the liquid from going back through into the ozone generator. There are smaller cheap Teflon valves available but they do break down over time and the last thing you want is to get any type of liquid inside your machine here and have the chance of something going wrong. So get yourself one of these glass check valves. There's nothing in the container there, it's just the way that it's set up so that it's called a trap, so it just basically traps any of the liquid that might be going through here to try and get back through to the ozone generator. So on the left hand side here, you can see we have a longevity resources oxygen tank. This is an industrial oxygen tank filled with food grade oxygen. And up top I have the gold standard of oxygen regulators, also from longevity resources. This regulator is a much higher quality better built than probably any of the other regulators you're going to find on the market unless they're coming from longevity resources. I always say it's worth it to spend a little bit more and get the better regulator. You have a more accurate flow. If you buy a cheaper regulator there's going to be a chance over time that the flow isn't as accurate and you may even have leaks. It's not worth it. Spend the extra money and get yourself an oxygen regulator like this one or like this other one from longevity right here, this green one. These are made for industrial tanks and they work on anybody's industrial oxygen tank, not just Longevity. So if you have somebody else's tank, you can still order these regulators from Longevity and I'll put a graphic on the screen so you can see what the model number is. Longevity also has medical oxygen regulators as well if you're using a medical oxygen tank. So let's just uh, bring the oxygen line over here and connect those two together. So that's the oxygen input going into the ozone generator and the output coming from the oxygen regulator. Now this is the Longevity Resources EXT120T Ultra. This is their latest unit. It's all digital. It's built with NEOS technology. You can see on the right hand side here I have a, uh, a flow status over here so I can see where my flow is set up to. Or on the left hand side I have a, a timer. Right now it's set to 20 minutes. According to Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book, The Ozone Miracle, this is Dr. Frank Schellenberger's new ozone book that's available on Amazon.com. Uh, this is the one I pretty well get all my protocols from. If you want to learn ozone protocols, get the book, TheOzoneMiracle.com from Amazon. It also will probably answer any questions you might have. Dr. Schellenberger suggests setting it to 20 minutes and setting it at a gamma of 80. So if I actually grab my chart here from Longevity and I look at the top row here, uh, I'd want to set it at 9, which I have it set for right now. And if I set my flow at 1 8 on the oxygen regulator here, that's going to give me 77.6 gamma. So that's right around the 80 gamma range. That's what we're going to do for this particular one here. Again, you can get uh, more accurate settings from Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book. The first thing we want to do is take the output here from the ozone and run that into the top of the trap there. And then take the one on the bottom of the trap and connect that to the top of the flask. And finally connect that flask bottom one up to the ozone destruct unit. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to just uh, turn this thing on and just let it run. Right now you can see I've got the flow set up so the oxygen is running into the ozone generator. The ozone output through the silicone tube is coming into the top of the trap, going out the bottom of the trap and into the top of the flask and you can see there's a glass tube that goes down to the bottom so once I turn that on it's going to start bringing the ozone here and you're going to see all of the bubbles happening and those bubbles are actually going to come back out through here and go through the ozone destruct unit and convert back to oxygen. So let me go ahead and uh, open up the oxygen tank here with the valve and I'll go ahead and hit the start button here and I'll set that to 1 8 flow on my oxygen regulator. Now just a note, the reason that I got this Longevity Resources Ozone Generator is because I was uh, watching videos from Dr. Frank Schellenberger, 
Dr. Gary Gordon and Dr. Robert Rowan, and they always talked about longevity resources. Their website is ozonegenerator.com. Great company. The products are used by NASA, MIT, Caltech, Boeing. I mean, everybody uses Longevity's ozone generators. There are two models above this and a couple models below this one. This is very reasonably priced. Uh, it's worth it to deal with Longevity. They're a great, great company, a real pleasure to deal with. And they've done some amazing things around the world as well. So basically, I would just let this run for 20 minutes, and, and once it gets down to zero, the longevity resources ozone generator will automatically stop generating ozone and then I can just turn the power off. In this case I'm not going to wait around for 20 minutes so I'll go ahead and um, show you the shutdown procedure. So assuming that it actually got to zero and I would just hit the stop button there and then the first thing I would do is turn my oxygen regulator to off. There's now nothing flowing through here and I'll go ahead and shut the valve off on the oxygen tank and now I can go ahead and disconnect everything. So I'm going to disconnect the bubbler from the trap, first of all, right here. And next I'm going to disconnect the bubbler from the ozone destruct unit right here. And then finally I'll just disconnect the trap from the ozone generator. And I can go ahead and hit the power button and turn the power off on the longevity resources ozone generator. Just a note. The water that I'm making here, I'm going to be drinking, and drinking ozonated water, I find I just get a real energy boost. But you can also use this to clean vegetables and meats. As an example, Whole Foods in multiple locations in California has installed an ozone system for washing produce. In 2001, the USDA approved ozone to disinfect food. It also extends shelf life, it reduces food spoilage, it leaves no chemical residue, and it conforms to the USDA organic food standards. There's a lot of other videos on YouTube as well if you just typed in ozone and vegetables as an example. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. I'll put a link to Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book down in the description. I'll also put a link to Longevity Resources' ozonegenerator.com website in the description.